Good evening, everybody. That's our new intro because I'm excited. Because we're doing Future World. That's like the lowest key park thing you could do, I think. It's cold. I have a hat on for Florida standards. I'm sorry as you're watching this, we are going through like a bomb cyclone or whatever, or whatever it's called. So we feel it. Okay, so Sarah interrupted us and I interrupted because she wants to come stand by this wall. Isn't it cute? It's super cute. So we understand that we, we are. This is our backdrop for our future world. Oh, this is. Whoa, and you can see the special through that hole. Um, we get and feel, we feel for everybody who's going through the tundra because we lived in Chicago for 26 years. We have felt it. So stay warm, stay safe, check on your neighbors. But we're doing future world, which means. Beverly! Right of our future world evening, Nemo. <laughs> Finding or Nemo. Oh my gosh! Nemo and friends. Rises. Nemo and friends. The like seas that. with Nemo and friends. The seas with Nemo and friends. The starfish right here had too much fun over the holiday <laughs> vacation. This is the most beautiful animal I've ever seen. I'm telling Eve you said that. Uh, besides Eve, but look at the color. Yeah, that's super vibrant. That one over there is sophisticated. He's walking like on his toes. Oh my gosh. Attraction number two. The turtle talk only does one at a time. In his whole life. I don't even remember like how this looks. Like I remember the seating area, but we sat all the way in the back. I'm super nervous because I used to do a turtle talk event at the Disney store when I wasn't there. Whoa. Psychedelic. Hey guys. Okay, bye. I wonder why are these? Oh, these smiling. <laughs> Really? We saw that one go up and come out of the water. One, two, three! Yeah. Oh, my chest! My Check out the double aerial with the classic 360, dudes. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, look at all these humans in the human tank. <laughs> hey, dude, what is your name? Josiah. Josiah. What's your question, Josiah? Uh, so... Dude. Um... Did Disney is a fun place. <laughs> Disney is a fun place. Dude, that's awesome. Where is Disney? <laughs> okay, everybody, repeat after me. Hello, whale. Whoa, awesome job, human dude. Cool, cool. Never seen this before. So much. We should get it this weekend. 
Eve loves popcorn. She would hate that sriracha though. Yeah, we give her we give her plain. No. Unsalted, unbuttered, just plain old popcorn. She loves it. Our third attraction. Venetians Express. <laughs> Grand and The Venetian Express. <laughs> wow. Together we form a super network that glows with billions of interactions. And once again, we stand on the brink of a new renaissance. After 30,000 years of time travel, here we are. A truly global community, poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. So oh, cool. We were, that, that decision just got easier for us. So we're going to, I snagged a really good fast pass earlier today at work, and it was Soren at 8.30, because the park closed at 9. We're like, oh, maybe we can go and live with the land afterwards, but it's closed. It's closed today. It's kind of like a, it's not today, but like maybe it's like, I think it closed early. I think it's like, you're right, depending on what time of day it is and how many people are in the park, they probably closed early because it's not the most popular ride, but we love it. We'll have to come back soon and go on. Attraction four, killing it, and it's a it's a golden one too. Soren, baby, we've only done this what like four times since we moved here. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Soren. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. Please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course. These little beauties. I tell ya, I might like the new version better than the old version. I say it a lot and Sarah makes it noise every time, but I think I do. I just love the smells of both. I think I like, I like the smells of this one more. The orange, the orange is the only thing that trumps everything, but my second, third, fourth, and fifth favorites all come from the new one. Like the grassy plains. Oh, all of it. Super good. I just wish it wasn't a CGI, but hey, what are you gonna do? Club cool. But it's closed. They're not letting us in. They're letting the people in there finish finish up and then saying, go home. Mouse gears, eliminations, eliminations, mouse gears. Let's do mouse gears and go home. Because we have to take down our Christmas tree tonight. Yeah, that's super exciting. Oh my Lanta, this is the next must have for us in our Disney library. It's hardcover, it's beautiful, and I love it. Search for the lost Disney cartoon. Oh, so is it like different ones or is it just Oswald? It's just Oswald, I think. Still amazing. We just found so unprecedented it's gonna break our coffee mug rule, I think. We might have to get these soon. Look at these mugs. It's old fashioned Mickey and Friends cartoons, but they're at all different places in the park. Minnie and Daisy are at the carousel, Mickey and Goofy on Big Thunder Mountain, Donald and Mickey at Space Mountain, Goofy and Mickey on Jungle Cruise. Those are amazing. For Christmas next year? This year. It's this year. Oh, yeah, Christmas this year? I'm just joking. We're back home. And that right there has had its time. Does it have to go, sir? Does it have to go? Yes. Okay. It'll go right now. Well, Christmas is over, officially. Actually, we still have a lot. Yeah, we have, we have, a, we have a lot of decorations to put away, and we still have Christmas candy and treats and. Eve's bow, because we haven't gotten her January bow. They shipped. Good. I got Eve's bows until July. She's got all the seasons now for the entire year, once we get them. Did you guys know it's her birthday? Her birthday is coming up uh, on... 29th. 29th. Bye. Okay, so I almost got a mauled just now by a raccoon, and it would not leave me alone, and it's not Eve. Eve looks like a raccoon, kind of. But I put that tree and stuck it out the back side of the trunk of our car and drove it because we live like kind of like two blocks away from the dumpster. So I didn't want to carry the tree because it's late and it's heavy. So I stuck it out the back end, looked like a goof. 
at 11.30 at night bringing okay. uh, the tree to the dumpster. But when I got there, there was two raccoons and they both started to run away. But then one came back and like started walking towards me. My mom said, like elf? Yeah. And it went, it got like maybe three feet away and then I like I slammed the trunk closed and then it ran. But it was scary. I'm very sorry that happened to you. Florida was, wildlife. Could be worse. Could have been that. You never know. Could have been a bobcat. Yeah. Or a cracker guy. A cracker gator. Or a bobcat named Eve. <laughs> but we're going to bed. I'm working from home tomorrow because we have a doctor's appointment. And we just decided that we might get our universal passes tomorrow. So it's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.